Hello everyone, King Bullet here with some more Franbo. So, I'm still trying to figure out where I'm supposed to get the other keys to go through some of these doors. Okay, the insert button. It says I need a button, but I don't know where the, I'm supposed to get a button from. What's this? Oh, I already got, that's where I got the wire from. See, I got two more doors there. And a really big eyeball. Hold on. camera. My camera be all messed up. Alright. Is there anything else in here? Wonder if I can use that button. Give me it. Oh, I can. Why didn't I think of that before? Is there anything else with the dresses? No. Okay. At least not that I see. Okay, let's go insert a button then. There goes my button, now what? Well, I think I disconnected the machine, it has no power. Oh. Fires! That's not the key, at least I hope I can, it can help somehow. I'm sure I can. I'm gonna take the cord again, just because I want the cord. Okay, well, if, if I have pliers, can I use it to bash this dude's teeth? Oh! Oh, that's, oh, that's terrible. You got anything to say about that? Oh, dead skulls on the wall. You don't have anything to say about that? Okay. Which door do you go to? 103? Nope. So you're 102. Hi. There's a clock. A wake up clock. Perfect. Die, kitty, die. Can I use it on the clock? Aha! I can. Okay, um. Okay. Hello tree, you're big. Okay. What's this on your back? The back of the giant cat. Is that important somehow? On the back of the giant cat. Okay, so that's where I gotta build the clock. Oh wait, I need to do that. Um, okay, so I needed a light bulb. Uh, the glove, the clock, this thing, uh, that, I think I needed the soap, yeah, how about the stick, nope, uh, black wire, okay, I needed the black wire, Hairbrush? No. Water? Okay. Hi. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's, let's go check out the elevator. As I walk across Mr. Midnight's really big tail. Oh, hi there. Excuse me, I really need a key hanging just behind you. Excuse me, but I do not talk to strangers. Let me take the key. You don't need to talk, just let me take the key. If I choose not talking to strangers, not listening is also part of the deal. Are you stuck? I am firmly attached to it. Why do you ask? I'm just curious. See you later. Can I brush you? Look, I found a magical hair comb. Isn't it great? I don't know. A hair comb? What is that? Uh, well, it's to try to make your hair very pretty and smooth. Would you like to try it? I don't know. Is it dangerous? It can be very pleasant. 
if you do it smoothly. Alright, let's try it. Alright, but just promise you won't burn me, okay? I'd only burn if I'm in danger. Be gentle, nothing bad will happen. Okay, I'll be gentle. It worked. What is happening to me? I've never experienced anything like this before. But how? You are a Lucifer, and all Luciferns I've met do this all the time. Really? Well, thank you very much. It feels incredible. I feel like I need to fly away. That must be the key. I can smell it. Okay, uh, can I poke it? I can reach it. Now I have the key. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, well, why are you telling me? Why aren't you giving it? Okay, so I got key for 103. Cool. Oh, this doesn't look... Oh, this doesn't look fun at all. Was that a f moving portion of the floor? Creature from above, get out of Mabuka's den. Wake up, Mabuka. Excuse me, but I'm looking for my cat. I need to wake up Mabuka. Just Mabuka, Mother Mabuka for you, arrogant little infant. And how did you plan to wake her up, eh? With the crazy ideas of Cogwin. He's not crazy. Cogwin is a nice clock maker. Ah, uh, so you know him. I assume you've been to Ithers. Ugh, Ithers, a horrid place, I must say. Too dazzling. I want to... Well, that's exactly where I want to go after I find my kitty. Good for you. Your fragile mind will be safe there with all those boring creatures. I'm going now, you wicked tree. My kitty is waiting for me. Ah, be aware of Mabuka. The awakened darkness rises from the unknown. Oh, I'm sorry to wake you up, Mother Mabuka, but I need a favor from you. Can somebody tell me who this creature is? Quite insolent for such a tiny body. I can sit answer that myself. Thank you. I'm Frambo, human girl, 11 years old, and I'm very brave, so you know. A human in Mabuka's den. That's amusing. Who brought you here? That would be Ramor. I think he is your son, isn't he? Did my son manage to enter your head already? You mean like cutting my head open? I don't think so. Did you drink or eat some sort of reddish potion or beans? Beans, my pills look like looked like beans, so yes, it took a whole bottle. Then I cannot use violence against you, the power has been unleashed. I hope you find beneath the ground the truth that you seek. Thank you, but what power has been unleashed, can you tell me? The power inside you, don't you know? No. You were selected by the five realms of essential existence to be the keeper of the key. The five realms of essential existence was created parallel with time. What? What are you talking about? The keeper of the key? Who told you this? The great Volokas from Primeve told us everything a long time ago. The keeper will be hunted by the son of darkness after feeding from the red seed. But you are too young, I must say. Too young indeed to be the keeper of the key. There's something about you. Did something obscure happen to you? I think Remor killed my parents, Mother Vibuka. Can you imagine how it feels? I am all of those feelings, Frambo. I am all the sinister, all the darkness you can imagine. I feed from tears and sorrow, from desperation and fear. But then you don't care if Remor killed my parents. I thought you were nice. I'm curious about knowing the reason, if that makes you feel better. Now, I understand that it's the reason itself, the truth you're seeking. Go on, Keeper of the Key. Be brave now. I'll open my heart for you. That sounds weird, and I'm just kind of floating there now. It's locked. Okay, this is weird. Oh, that creature's body is made out of baby faces. But I know you from somewhere. You took something from me, didn't you, you little thief? Where's my knitting needle, eh? Did you stab all your friends with it? What knitting needle? Are you the dead nurse I saw back in Oswald Asylum? Do I look dead to you? Ah, you little beast. Take a number, would you, and wait for your turn in the waiting room. But Miss Nurse, I don't need medical attention. I just want to find my kitty. Take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. Seven. 
let's take a look at the number. I hope we get a good one. I wonder how long I must wait for this ticket. Uh, I wonder how long I must wait now. Hours, maybe days. Hi, I've been waiting for a week now. How long has everybody, everyone been waiting? I've been waiting for like a month. But I have number two, so it must be my turn very soon. I've been waiting for three and a half weeks. Totally hopeless. I have, excuse me, everyone, but is there a way to make things faster? Yes, become a doctor yourself. That would be faster. And by doing that, you could also help us all. But why would, won't you become a doctor yourself then? I can't because I feel very sick. I can't. My R eye is blinded. I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor. I must be a patient. Neither can I. I've lost my ability to frighten myself in front of... <laughs> frighten yourself in front of the mirror? What? Well, I'm not sick at all. Please let me go before you, okay? I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. Hmm, but how can you not know? Do you feel pain somewhere? It's a very hard question. Make it softer. How can I make a question softer? That's very strange. Hey, have you tried... Pulling your eyes off, it helps sometimes. Uh, that's that's painful it's, and impossible to do, so no. Of course you can't make sense of us. You're not the one that sees it all. You've only noticed for a few minutes. There's very little time to understand it all. Hmm, that's true, but it would be nice to use some common sense. Why? What does common sense do that uncommon sense doesn't? It helps to understand, for starters. We do understand each other very well with our uncommon sense anyway. <laughs> yes, we actually do. We do respect the differences. Who sees all then? Me, Mabuka? Mabuka knows everything. It's not the same as seeing everything. Now, I want to wait because talking won't make the wait go faster. Huh, alright. Thank you for nothing. Waiting was fun at the beginning, now it's just morning. Wait. I think my horn won't grow again. I'm going to be very angry because of that very soon. Do you see the screen? I have number two. It's almost my turn. My RI is broken. The big guy told me that because she sees it all. They listen, they see, and they touch. Okay, so the the eye sees it all. They're talking about this eye in here, aren't they? I hope you find a cat soon. I see, still see him inside that kitchen. Can you help me with this? Can't do that. It's not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go in here. Um, I already took a number. Okay, what am I supposed to do then? This must be the number display. So glad you're here to tell me this, Fran. Okay, so there's nothing there. Okay, this is my turn now to talk here with the nurse, alright? If you don't wait and leave us alone, I'll tear you apart and eat you. Ew, you eat children? Did you know that we children are actually immature? Hey, hey, leave the patient alone now. The doctor will determine the severity of the illness, don't you worry. Here's my ticket. Just take a number and wait for your turn. Not what I needed to do. Uh, okay. Mabuka, can you help? I can't do that. Can you please wake up again, Mabuka? She's asleep. Can we trade? Would it be possible to exchange our tickets? I would like to help you, but it's my turn to help myself, so no. How about you? Would it be possible to exchange our tickets? I have a number seven. Hmm, that is not too convenient for me, I'm sorry, but no. Do you see the screen? I have number two. It's almost my turn. Would it be possible to exchange our tickets? I have number seven. No, I need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illness I have. 
What if I find out what illness you have? Would you then give me your ticket? Sure, if I'm still here when you come back. Okay, that doesn't help me. You're still sleeping. You got a thing on your head. Kitty. There's nothing up there. There's nothing in 101 or 105. You, you got a crazy looking eyeball. Can you help? Excuse me, I need your help. Now you help me? Really? Of course. You do. What can I do for you? Patient trouble. Can you tell me what illness the creature has the ticket number two suffers? He's in the waiting room waiting. Hmm, let me see. Ah, I see him, but from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by the low levels of agony in him. Wow, but is it possible to help him somehow? I need a ticket. Yes, crying all the tears you can cry until you fill this bottle will do it. But don't forget, the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm in a very problematic point in my life. I thought everything was going to be better when Kenny and I got home, but now everything is so confusing. Aunt Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible. I didn't really trusted her. I don't know what to do now. Mabuka said that I was selected for something, but she fell asleep again and won't answer my questions. I need my kitty. Mr. Midnight's hugs are the biggest form of comfort in my life. I just want to find him so we can go back to Thursday and be happy. <clears throat> Lovely pain. So profound. It's weird. The bottle is now full of your tears. Give it to the critter that has your ticket. Go now. Time does not wait for anybody. Thank you. I'll be going now. Goodbye. Just stops crying just like that. Why did she not help me before? You. Here, have some bottles. Out of tears. Here, drink this. You'll feel much better. Oh, trying to poison me. Ha ha ha. How lovely. Let's see. It tastes like the most profound, darkest elixir I've ever tasted before. Give me more. Give me more. No, leave me alone. You promised to give me the ticket if I help you. Alright, alright. There you go. Yay. And thank you. Your tears taste absolutely delicious. It's a weird thing to say. Oh, hey, look. It's ticket number two. That was oddly convenient. Hello, patient number two. We're going to do all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry, we don't help sick people without an appointment. But I'm not sick. I lost my kitty and I just want to find him. I lost kitty. Don't worry. That's a natural reaction of your sickness. You're lucky, though. Many lose their mind instead. Hmm. Huh. Lucky. But how do I get an appointment, then? Oh, just call me. Here's my card with the telephone number. But why must I call you? Why can't you just make an appointment now? Oh, that would be silly, because now I'm waiting for you to call me. Oh, jeez. I'll go make the call then. There was a phone in one of the rooms, I think. Wasn't in 102, I know that. Was it in here? Nope, no phone there. Oh, it was the skeletons. Yeah, here we go. Okay, uh, zero, one, two, two, one, two, one, seven, two, seven, six. Oh, hello, yes, you told me to call her to make an appointment. Hmm, it's Frambo. Uh, hmm, I'm available now. No, no, Ed, no. Yes, I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. I'll see you in a minute then. Great, great, thank you. Bye. Yes, bye. I swear this game is just out to troll you and make things as, as difficult as possible. Okay, yeah, hi, got an appointment. Hello, patient number two, do you have an appointment? Yeah, Frambo is my name and appointment is now. Let me check the archives. Yes, there you are. Doctor, we'll see you in a minute. Just go through the door. Okay, thank you. Sorry, did I scare you? You look quite pallid. Phew, yes, yes, what a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Oh, thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. K, 
Okay. You haven't chosen to end your life yet? Isn't the pain you feel enough? You are more, aren't you? I haven't gotten the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Ramor, the terrible black prince of darkness. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where is my cat? What did you do to Dr. Dearn? I enjoy immensely seeing your suffering dripping off your eyes. I free feed from it. You're the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You are under my power. That's not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You are assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing. I saw you that night outside my window. It must be you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. I knew it! I knew it. No, it can't be. Stop it. I didn't do it. I didn't. It wasn't me. Stop it, please. I definitely called this. Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? The doll, little critter, must suffer and die from becoming a star. I haven't killed my parents. I haven't. The monster wants to trick me. I know. Everybody is crazy around here. I have to find Kitty and leave. No, you killed your parents. What's this? It's gonna be important. I think with water. Good. Don't know why I need that. Oh, hey, Doc. Hey, Mr. Midnight. Let me just ignore the doctor. Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you alright? Kitty, answer me. What's wrong with you? Meow, meow. What? Why won't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please don't do this to me. Her. Talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. If It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to the thirst of my darling. Palantras can help us. I promise you, nothing will tear us apart again. Meow. Oh, kitty. I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Dune, alright? He seems to be in trouble. What does this ever do? Oh, these buttons don't do anything. This kind of shocked him. A syringe. It has red fluid inside. What can it be? I don't know. I don't need this. don't need this. Hey, Doc. Are you alright, sir? Sir, wake up, please. Dr. Green, wake up. Are you alive, sir? Alright, what should I do to wake him up? Let's poke him with a needle. Hi. Hey, maybe this will wake him up. Oh, jeez. I'm so evil. Look at the face. Oh... Ah, damn, what was that? Don't worry, Dr. Darren, it's me, Fran. Ah, uh, what? I can't see very well. Fran Bo, sir, from the Oswald Asylum. We were at the cemetery, remember? Fran, what happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? Oh, I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. We must go. Come on, Fran, the mo monsters? I don't feel like playing games. Alright, it wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. Well, what is she doing here? I thought you chained her. Uh, but I did. I told you she was a hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me, Aunt Grace. Why are you talking like that? Who is this old man? How lovely. You sound just like your mother when she was young. Pop? Grandpa? My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, Fran. Oswald? From Oswald Asylum? Yes, Fran. The same old man. But why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Well, many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complex complexity of twin siblings. Lucy and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me to find the key to success. The key? Hmm. Did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Ramor did a great job. His power of manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. It was you holding that knife after all. I'm not calm, sir. I know, knew it was Remor all the time, but why does he hunt me? Remor is a manifestation of your weaknesses. A blinded and powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would the monster kill my parents? 
because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favor. You are suffering. And pain is connected to growth and strength, Fran. Oswald, please, let's just do what we need to do. And Grace, please don't be mad at me. We're family. Let us go. My kitty and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please, just let us go. Yes, you're right, Fran. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. Dr. Deeren, are you alright, sir? Oh, oh, yeah, I don't think he's alright. Oh, she's gonna drop Kitty off the edge. Fran, my dear, listen to me. You must know, Dr. Oswald only wants the best for you. When Lucia was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be very a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best, but for that you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And, ev and then everything will be fine? Of course, but there is still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. Come on, Fran, stop weeping. The cat is dead now. I I'm not believing that, but he was my friend. You killed my best friend. You also helped to kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you. Ah, I hate you. Stop it, friend. Help. Help. Please, help. Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster. Oh my goodness, she's totally insane. Bring her to me, I'll do the experiment while she is still warm. I need to extract the brain right away. Fran, are you alright? What have you done with her? She tried to kill me, you were right about Do Fran, Dr. Deeren, she was sick. But she is bleeding, let me take care of her. No, you won't, she is mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years now. Looking for the right child, the right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. Hit word! Uh, bye, Aunt Grace. Oh, Fran, everything will be fine. Who who are you? I'm It word, the one many children talk about. But but you're not human. Ecto bro, ecto pro, Polantris monachis. Gorska, It word, I found him. Oh my goodness, stay away from the girl, leave her alone. Little friend must be cured. Do you think you can use the same body? Yes, yeah, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Oh, Mother Mabuku, you took the innocence of the child. Fran is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, Fran, and you'll be able to walk towards light. Mr. Midnight isn't dead, at least. How many times does she have to die? Ah, uh, what happened? It were Palantras. My heart hurts. Mr. Midnight, how? You're alive, my kitty. I missed you so much. Please tell me something. Fran, we must go now. Go? Alright. Dr. Deeren, look. This is it, word. And Palantras. I told you about them. Remember? I told you they were real. See? Can you believe me now? Okay, he can't hear you. I think he is under the power of Mabuka now. We really must leave now. But can you come with us, please? He has been really nice to me. He really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us, I'm sorry. But what we can do is make him believe that all of this was a dream. He will wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, Fran. I see. Well, that's okay. I guess as long as he is safe. That's very kind. You're very finally seeing beyond your own desires. You're becoming one with everything. Your parents would be very proud of you. You really think so? Oh, thank you, Palantras. 
Oh, I gave Palantras a hug. Now let's send Dr. Deeran home. Marcel Deeran Onam Vecna Vecma Sudensla Ecto. Goodbye, Dr. Deeran. Strange turn of events. Let's go, friend. There's so much you must see and learn. Hehe, <laughs> that sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. I still don't know many things. But one thing I do know. That between guilt and fear. I chose choose happiness. So he fixed his fly and do that. Palantras is doing okay. Are we going back to a Thursta? That's it. Franbo has come to an end, I guess. So, let me get this straight. Fran killed her parents, which I called, by the way, and then started seeing all these creatures because she was some sort of key master or whatever. And then Remorse was hunting her. She escaped from the asylum, took the power, which was technically the red pills this whole time, and then turned around and she ended up just pretty much killing her Aunt Grace. And now she's going back to Athursta to live out the rest of her life. Why couldn't we have just stayed in Athursta in the first place? It would have made the game a lot shorter and, you know, would have saved her a whole lot of problems. Then again, I guess the whole twist and turns of figuring everything out was needed. But, I don't know, this game was awesome. I love the artwork. It was great. Um, the characters were all funny. The mixture of a little bit of terror and a little bit of creep factor. Plus the... Um, innocence of it was really cool. I really liked it, so... Uh, is there... Nope, there's nothing else after, so... That does it for this series, I guess. So, thank you guys so much for watching this series. If you liked it, smack that like button with your Warhammers. And as always, share this around with your friends. Help these King's forces grow. And I will see all of you guys in the next battle.